I'm not going to come on any set and say I'm a know-it-all or I'm the best at something or I'm, you know, have this raging ego where everybody needs to know who I am. I'm not going to come on the set like that within any, you know, type of circumstantial event that could be, you know, in the works for what we're following up with. I'm not going to come on the set as that, you know, I'm not claiming to be a human design expert and you don't have to be something of any type of expert to follow up on an inquiry for a query to practice a certain experiment and to practice a certain experiment. The practice is, the practice itself is a process, different processes happening while you have a certain type of effort to follow up with the practice with whatever your coach prescribes you to do as your experiment, which is endless, but it also has respective increments in how you unfurl and envelop yourself. Because I don't have to get too heady or too mental with the HD experiment to practice it and to flow into it on how I can use that system and their toolkits to understand myself because HD it's actually pretty simple. You know, it's telling you how to follow up on your strategy and authority just as a you know new entry level participant. And then the chart itself is kind of like pinpointing like what keynotes are activated in you, what is defined and what you bring forth more, you know, um, more masculine like or what you're more receptive to as far as other people's influences. So I'm not claiming to be you know, um, you know, an expert in anything. I, but like that, that doesn't go to say that I haven't done homework on other, you know, topics for other streamlined, you know, categories that we could intuitively, ironically follow up on. Meaning, meaning, um, th- there's some simple practices, or there's just simple tips that you know, um. An, the HD system could prescribe to you and the HD system that could be prescribed to you is um, there's some commonalities in what you could practice. You know, you could like, you know, follow your intuition more. And, and aside from just following the intuition, um, just a couple tips here is, uh, so following your intuition is one. And um, I, another one was just like, uh, to, to like, you know, it, it's a basic in- instinct to like, you know, need to protect yourself, you know? So th- there's, th- there's this other notion where like, you, you could just like protect yourself, you know? And, and there's, a, there's this other one, um, So kind of, oh, and just, um, and and I guess something along the lines of do less, you know, do, do less, but it's also various, you know? So like some simple insight tips that HD could, could tell you is like to do less, follow your intuition. And then the basic instinct is, you know, going to be your true self, your true authentic self. But what does that really mean that? So to be your true authentic self, you have to like get the reading from the expert coach and then them have a specific outline for them to tell you how to do that within how you're arranged within your energy centers of how you've been influenced within your nuanced um, new template of you within that system. But on, on some simple notes, ironically, we, we could be less heady with that stuff and still cruise and coast with the experiment by, you know, obviously it being a little more interchangeable of just like, you know, it's not necessarily do nothing, you know, because it once you do nothing, that's where the charge comes in. Because like, if you get like a human design reading, and I'm not claiming to be an expert, because obviously, I could like, you know, have this foresight and this forehearing of like how some any type of criticism could come back to me. But that's, that's like the, um, that's, we're all still growing into some sort of flexibility to be more, um, more inclusive. And we're, we're we're in a community at society at large where there's a deflexibility 
that goes towards exclusivity and that's just what it is you know and i'm not tr- i'm not that, that that doesn't necessarily have to do anything with um with your personal practice but a, a, as you um are doing your personal practice it's all going towards you in a process becoming your authentic self so that is kind of like you know th- that's kind of that's kind of something of an irrefutable um objective notion and what i mean by objective notion is it's that's something that we're going towards whether we know it or not and it's a it's a thing a notion being practiced and thought of and interlaid within the process of your life so the process of your life it's not just physical mutation although that is happening it's not just like emotional like compression although that is happening it's it's more of like you know um a different type of mental flexibility within the intuitive mind and how we all have different relationships with the intuitive mind. So this is just a small video and I haven't done a video for a while cause I barely cleaned up my memory. So, um, so some, the basic instincts are, um, they're not necessarily, um, mentally grounded or processed within your, your, your living mind, you know, cause that's, that's just what we're coming from the ground up as far as, you know, something of like, you know, whatever the human is, you know, human having some portions of, you know, neutral animalistic qualities, that being what it is. And we rising above that and trying to transform that and seeing how society at large has been in a mesh pool of, you know, a lower octave mentality of the human leaning towards, you know, quote unquote animalistic you know, um, natures and attributes, end quote. So, um, so some, so, so the basic instincts, so, so like, these are just like, this video right here is just kind of like, um, it's just kind of like a preface and an entry level to like, you know, you know, see what, what we could do with that, you know, how, how we could ultimately move with that, which has already been at its own at its own, um, you know, steady rate of change. It's, ha- it's already been at its own steady rate of evolution, you know, and we're, it's not, it's not that we're behind. We're just catching up to who we are and what already was. Cause everything that is already happening right now, it was already in the works elsewhere, elsewhere. That's why I'm not, that's why there's a part of my intuitive mind. That's not necessarily tripping on anything, but you know, this, you know, the human mind, the left hemisphere, masculine mind with its high octaves and low octaves it gets in entangled with you know different influences and if that can't be equalized and transmuted by other um higher octave you know right hemisphere qualities then your thoughts could leave you susceptible to um in a different neutral perspective um irrelevant emotions or unnecessary emotions you know i'm not saying nothing's necessary i mean everything's valid to you obviously but it could be unnecessary at one point. It could be like, you know, it could be obsolete at one point. So w- w- what I'm really trying to say here is like a couple of um, HD experiment tips, human design experimental tips is just like do less, follow your intuition, become more of yourself within the practice of doing said things. And within that, some, and, and without the experiment, just but with and without is like um, one thing that goes without saying is just protect yourself, you know, protect yourself just generally. It's just a general thing, but that's, that's the thing. We don't necessarily are grounding that particular insight to do that when different ways we could say we're doing that. But like at the end of our life, when, like when, when it's time to actually be reviewed and assessed, we're, we're not going to like, we're not lying to nature. You know, we're not lying to like, you know, what we've done, and how we need to kind of compensate for it on a different metaphysical natural level because um because once we like quote unquote die end quote because we never die we're going to see how we died in just a neutral um you know kind of like a an, a biomolecular way you know the like seeing like you know the transactions of the biomolecular transactions that are happening within your life moment to moment process of seeing like what got the best of you and whatever got the best of you, that was the, that was the, um, 
that was the thing that wasn't light wasn't being casted upon your your constructive positive focused light w- wasn't being casted upon something that was being neglected and the thing that was being neglected was um whatever got the best of you once you quote unquote die end quote and you get reviewed and assessed you'll be shown and given um the logistics of um of what got the best of you and whatever got the best of you that's where you were absent in how you were not protecting yourself or how, or absent in how you were protecting yourself so since you were absent in that protection it's there was like on a neutral perspective level there was like there was some type of absent of necessary needed logic and information and knowledge which is could be summed up to intelligence, et cetera. So within that, this is just some basic instincts, you know, it's like, it goes without saying with or without the human design experiment, there's still a general notion to protect yourself. And obviously uh, so much diversity within the humans and the humans coming from different, you know, quote unquote star races, end quote, or whatever, we all have different, you know, inclinations to protect ourselves but that's a it's a necessary staple for your life but we're not necessarily un, like understanding the the download and the process of how you could do it on a holistic level you could say that but like the proof in the end of it the day the proof is in the um in the practice the proof is in like you know the backlog of what you've already done the proof the proving is in like the homework you've done you know so it's like, I'm not necessarily like trying to prove anything or I'm not necessarily trying to like, you know, say I'm this or that. I'm like, I, I'm going to let like, you know, the different, um, the different backlogs of, um, the different backlogs of like, you know, what the, uh, 11 senses are actually doing because the 11 senses, even, even if we have all this like mind chatter and all this mind, you know, um dialogue and rhetoric at the end of the day you know that's only like one you know component out of other components and how we're gonna like kind of um have a different type of energy exchange with you know this just the general universe or the general nature at large it's not necessarily going to be dictated upon just language you know it's going to be like the fruits of your actions the fruits of your efforts the fruits of like what you've seen and what you've seen it all culminates and contributes to how you're reacting and responding and requirculating and requirking within how you respond to things at large how you respond to the change because no matter at the end of the day no matter who you are what you are where you are everybody has to respond to change no matter what so um And that's just some general stuff and how we do it, you know, it could be, obviously it could be criticized. It could be judged. It could have like detrimental thoughts per the judger, you know, it could have like all this like dark thoughts. It could have all this like, you know, dark humor, you know, like nothing's new under the sun, whatever that saying means, you know, but like, what does that saying really mean? You know, <laughs> nothing's new under the sun. Have, have the best life ever.